so you'll want to come to Thailand. 20 seconds to Thailand, Thailand Rob. Hmm, before we get started about today's topic, let me explain what happened for my subscribers that got bombed with about three, four videos yesterday all at one time. One, I'm very sorry for that. Let me tell you what happened. For the last week, I was on the telephone with my YouTube consultant. She was looking at my page and she noticed that there were some sections that I could actually work on. So I decided to sit home and tinker on the YouTube channel. And what I ended up doing, which I didn't know, was I had all these little short clips from six months to a year ago. And I was putting these little clips into a playlist so that if people want to watch just the short clips, there's a playlist for it. Unbeknownst to me, when I was putting them in this playlist, it was sending out messages to you subscribers going, new video, new video. So, sorry about that. I'll have to just add one in slowly so that it doesn't blow up your mailbox. But that's what happened. So there's many types of people that come over here to Thailand. You have the young tourist that's probably coming over just to get into debauchery and drink for maybe two or three weeks and then go back home. Got it. You have some of the people that come here alone or with their families wanting to see the beauty of Thailand. Got it. You have some people that come over here, love it, but they're not retirement age and they try to figure out how they can work over here and make a living in Thailand. And then you have the people that generally just retire here. Of those type of people, the most difficult one is obviously not retired and looking for a job. And here is why. And I'm not going to go in depth into getting a job in Thailand because it depends on the type of work that you would want to do. Most people are always like, well, here's the first idea that I'll think of. I'll get a job teaching English in Thailand. If you don't have a degree from a college, a bachelor's degree, you're not allowed to teach in Thailand. They've just made the rules a whole lot stricter in the visa processes. The reason they decided to make it stricter is because Thailand is really, really trying to make it difficult for the person that is working here illegally. Thailand is very, very serious about keeping jobs in Thailand for Thai people. Um, in America, we order everything on Amazon.com. Over here, Amazon.com is still just maybe some books. You can't order a GoPro, you can't order camera accessories on Amazon and have them shipped here. If I do order them and I have them shipped here, the import tax, by the time it gets here, I pay the same price as I did on Amazon. It becomes quite expensive. The reason is they want you to shop in Thailand and spend the money in Thailand, and I get it. The number one job that I thought about when I first got over here was teaching English, but I don't have a bachelor's degree. There are some places you could get a job up north, maybe without it, but you're putting the school at jeopardy with immigration and you're putting yourself in jeopardy with immigration so I don't recommend that and also now they've changed it at least for Americans long gone are the days that you could come over here with a piece of paper that looked professional and looked like it was authentic that you graduated because now you are required to go to the embassy and pay the embassy to verify your education getting a job in Thailand means you would be taking a job away from a Thai person. You know, excluding English teaching, coming over here and getting a job at the McDonald's, no. I mean, they need a Thai person to make that money. The country wants the Thai people to make the money. Now, opening a business over here. If you came over here and you decided to open up a restaurant or, or, or something, a donut shop, whatever you want to do, that's very welcomed over here because once you open your business, you're required to hire Thai people to work there. For the most part, if I remember correctly, I think it's four Thai people for every one foreigner. So if you're one person, you would hire four people, four Thai people. Now being on that note, I can tell you now that a lot of people come over here with that dream, but just in the six months that I've lived here in Kamala, I've seen one hotel close, two restaurants close, three bars close, one bar for sale, 
If you're good with your business and you know what you're doing and you believe that you could do that over here just as well, that's cool. But if you just come over here and say, I'm going to buy a bar and it's going to be fine. Uh, I, I don't recommend that. I mean, unless you are a bar owner and you're just, that's what you have always done and you, you're better than the three bars that just closed. Restaurants, I've seen, and the restaurants closing, I don't know, man. I've seen the most successful restaurants here and I've seen restaurants that were just <clears throat> scraping the walls to get by. Unfortunately, I saw one close just this week and I thought he was doing pretty good, but he, he closed, he didn't do it. Uh, anyway, not right, two, two that closed. Uh, anyway, so the only thing I really wanted to touch on today was a lot of people just say, well, how is, how is it getting a job over here? It's extremely difficult. Um, opening a business is not extremely difficult and that's just something I've never done. I've never opened up a business, a uh, brick and mortar business. So it would be something that would be difficult, di different for me. I think there might be a good chance it wouldn't succeed if I, if I do something I'm just completely ignorant to do. I mean, I can't open up a restaurant. I've never had a restaurant. I wouldn't know where to begin with a restaurant. Mm. It was a dishwasher once and a short order cook. I was a short order cook one time. Now, some of you are gonna know a lot more about this than me because you've been coming over here a lot longer than me. And so please, in the comments, if you know more about getting jobs in Thailand, please, because uh, the viewers love to read these and some guys, you come in and you remind me of things that I forgot. Someone mentioned the other day when we're doing exchanges, when you're exchanging money at the tables at the exchange booths, you have to have a copy of your visa. This is true, forgot it. But the comment reminded everybody of it. So thanks for the comments. That's it, that's it for today. It's gloomy, today's election day or they're voting on the constitution. That's the only thing I got. I don't know what that really means. All the bars are closed for Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. All, all the bars are closed. Uh, I think, I'm pretty sure alcohol sale is restricted today and maybe last night. I'm not positive about that. I guess they want people to be sober when they vote here. It's because I don't know what that means. It's not, not a bad concept actually, but I'm sure tomorrow I'll find out something maybe. I think. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Goody goody. Don't forget that. Goody goody. La if life is good, it's good. If life is better and good, it's goody goody. They've just made the rules a whole lot stricter in the visa processes and in two ways. One, a lot of people, one, a lot of people just found out that the border crossings have ended. Well, they didn't end. The, the border crossing didn't end. What they did the government imposed that if you are doing a border run and you're getting a visa on entry on land, they reduced it to 15 days and then you can only get a seven day extension after that. This would make a, tour, this would make a, a border runner have to do it twice as much. Um, that would be a pain. But if you're flying in, if you fly in and you get your visa upon entry, it's still 30 days. And what the government stressed in the website, what they're stressing is get the correct visa before you get here. That's it. So in your own country, or even if you're just doing a, a border run here and you go to Malaysia or somewhere else, go to the Thai embassy and get a correct visa. Get a tourist visa if you want to stay here for two, you know, 60 days. Or uh, if you're going to open a business here, get your business visa, have all your paperwork from your lawyer or from the company that's hiring you, whatever. So visa, visa, visa really depends on what you're going to do here as to what type of visa. They just wanted to make it stricter on people that were just zipping in and out. Yep. So that's it. That's all I want to talk about today was the new visa border run thing. What it's kind of like when you talk about getting a job here. And um, tomorrow, I guess I'll let you know what this election thing was because I called Fawn and Fawn said she 
wasn't voting. And I asked Nit, she said she wasn't voting, but it wasn't like they were asked to vote. So there's something going on. As soon as I can figure out who got to vote, I will let you know and what they were voting on. So if you like the information in here, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see tomorrow what we're going to do. Squirrel.